In this video, I'll be showing another method to help me stabilize, lower, and make my ping much more consistent, optimizing TCP interaction. Yes, something so simple has helped me and will probably help you too. Without further ado, let's get started. To start, head to the link in the description and open our first link to install TCP Optimizer 4.0. Once on the website, right click right here on the blue text to start the install. Once completed, click on the arrow beside your download and then click show in folder. And here, right click on TCP Optimizer and run as administrator. Now that we all have TCP Optimizer 4.0, we can now optimize our settings. Head to the top and adjust the pointer to your internet speed. I have 2.5 gigabits of upload and download, so I'll set it to 200 plus megabits. Now head to the bottom and click on custom to change the rest of the settings. Check modify all network adapters, set MTU to 1500, set TTL to 128, and then simply copy the options on screen for the rest of the drop downs and general settings. Once completed, we can now head to the advanced tab and change the rest of our settings. Here simply enter the values I have on screen for both columns of settings. For Gaming Tweak, people have conflicting settings as for these options, it depends on your PC. We'll have to test both Gaming 0 and Disabled FFF and Default 10 and Optimal 10 and see which works better for us. We can test our ping using this website linked in the description to see what two options give us better ping and input delay. I'll be testing the Dallas servers. After you're finished changing your settings, you can go ahead and press apply settings. The application will then prompt you to restart your computer and after your restart, go ahead and boot up your game with last ping. If my optimizations worked or if slightly helped, I would appreciate it if you could share, like, and subscribe as I'm on my way to being a YouTube partner and only need 3,000 more hours of watch time. If you want to watch more content, watch this video right here or watch part 4 of the Network Optimizations Guide when I post it. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next video.